Lasker at Caledonian Road, which is where Pentonville Prison is, which is right behind me there. Today, we're here to try a good breakfast for a change because I've just checked and it is open. <laughs> and uh, the research I've done, it's, it's a good one. And it's called The Breakout and uh, very apt considering where it is. And don't forget to check out the end. I'll have a little walk about and show you the area. So uh, yeah, let's try this breakout breakers. By the way, hi to Dean. I've just seen him, he's just come out of the, break, the breakout actually. And uh, yeah, he recommends it. So nice as well. Sometimes when you just go off track in London and you get these lovely quiet roads. <laughs> no sirens, no beeping of the horns. You watch, I'll get one now. Um, yeah, it's just nice. I've just passed a sign actually, it says, it's okay not to be okay. And do you know what, that, that couldn't be more true. We all have off days, don't we? But it's okay. Not very really busy because I've timed it, so I've beat the rush. So, um, because it opens at six, I believe. Um, if there was trains early enough, I'd get here for six. But uh, yeah, maybe another time on the bike. One sugar on it. Nearly. Look, it's not the end of the world if I didn't have sugar, but. I do like a little bit of sugar. I don't see, the only time I have tea is when I have something to eat. Well, now that's not true because I don't have it in the evenings or lunchtime. So breakfast time, if I'm having a fry up, cup of tea. But that's the only time I have it. All the other time I drink coffee. And I won't tell you how many sugars I have in there. See, can't you? You can just see. There might be some face pulling. Because when it's good, oh, it's good. And it's about time. I've had a bit of bad luck lately. Absolutely straight away but I knew that you can just tell so for those of you that 
or unsure about um, what a catering sausage is and a butcher sausage. This is, sorry, this is a butcher sausage. And catering sausages are usually, they've got split ends and they're usually straight. Cheap buddy time. Oh yeah, let's pull out that cheap buddy. Happy place. Yes, homemade chips are better, but on a whole, wow. my plate and then I'm going to tuck right in. Crusty top on it as well. Oh. oh, that is amazing bubble. That really is good bubble. And for those of you that don't know what bubble is, it's dry fried veg and potato. The, um, the bacon smoked. be honest, I prefer unsmoked, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think I'd be more worried if the sausages were smoked. <laughs> but um, this bubble is off the charts. Oh, it's so good. Was it off the charts? Absolutely. Why was it off the charts, even though it was smoked bacon? I'll tell you why. Because it's quality bacon, and the fact that it was smoked is, doesn't lower the standard, does it? It just happens to be my preference. It's like um, if I had tomatoes on the plate, which I won't have because I order what I like, but if I did, I'm not going to knock down the breakfast because of it. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's when you taste ingredients and it's, it's not quality or it's not very good. That's when you mark it down. But yeah, absolutely off the charts. 100%. Oh yes, this has been a long time coming as well. 
But I'm just so happy that I, I found one after a little while of um, being uh, let down, should we say. Yeah. All right, let's have a walk around. Yeah, so there you go. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was absolutely off the charts. Um, spoke to the lady, sorry I didn't get your name. I'm terrible. I should ask people their names. It's polite. But um, we had a little chat and I, I was honest and I said about the smoked bacon. And that's just my preference. However, I did say that does not lower the quality of the produce. And she said they use the best bacon. And I could see that. Um, but look, I'm not gonna go on about it. I've already said it's off the charts, and it is. Um, I'm going back. I always go back to the, to the good ones. And that's one of the good ones. So congratulations to the breakout. Right. Pentonville Prison behind me. 1863 that was opened. Men's prison. Um, and we're gonna walk down. If you walk carry on walking all the way down this road, you get to uh, King's Cross. That's your pancreas. I'm not gonna do that today, but uh, I'm gonna stay in this area and uh, just have a look around because if you keep going the other way, you get to the Emirates Arsenal Stadium. Um, I don't think it's worth going because I won't be able to go in. It'll only be the, the outside and it'll just be this huge um, wall, I think, that you'll see. But, um, yeah, let's have a look. Do you know what? I am going to walk up to the stadium. I'll tell you why, because to be honest, it's, there's not much down there, it's just a very, very long road, high street if you like. So yeah, I'm going to walk to the stadium, we're close by, it's about a mile, so let's walk there and have a look round the Arsenal Stadium. Now, if there's any football fans out there that come to the Emirates Stadium, well, you know where to come for breakfast now. The breakout. So, keep going down Ben Wall Road, and you come to this. To be honest, I thought it was going to be like the Oval, the cricket ground at Vauxhall, um, where it's in right in the middle of a community. So it's so tight there, you, you're literally looking up at the sides of it, but there's, a, there's plenty of space here. But there you go, that is the Emirates Arsenal Stadium.
incredible, isn't it, when you see these stories. But that's how it was back then. Um, you know, the football was just a an, an add-on, like a hobby. I don't get the money they get now, which is why football to me is just it's all about the money and it's just crazy absolutely crazy and uh, and the dives that go on nowadays that never used to happen I think it's a, a relevant location to finish. So there you go, an amazing breakfast, um, long time coming. And uh, yeah, it was just wonderful, an absolute pleasure. Comfort food, you can't beat it. Um, it's a bit windy, so I'm gonna wrap it up. So guys, hope you enjoyed the Emirates Stadium and the breakout. So until the next time, I'll see you then.